as a triangle. Now, if we have a triangle, and you guys can see that these look very similar to each other, um, what we're going to do is just kind of label congruent parts. All right, and when I'm talking about congruent parts, what I'm trying to talk about is parts that are going to be the exact same, you know, measure in or in, in their exact same location. So if you guys can see these triangles, I know they're not exactly the same as, as I drew them, um, but they look very similar to the same. Now, if you're going to say A relates to what point over in that triangle over there? D. D, right? So these, let's pretend these are exactly the same as I'm pretending that these two um, triangles are exact. They're in the exact same location, so we can say that these are congruent parts. Let's pretend that B and E are congruent, but you guys can see those are in the exact same location of the two triangles, right? So they are congruent parts. And the same thing with F and C. Okay. So if we're saying congruent parts, notice that um, you guys can see that these angles are in the exact same location of their triangle. Therefore, we can say that angle A is congruent to angle D. Right? Those are congruent parts. One thing, we obviously know that they're congruent on the thing, but they're incongruent in their part. Then you could say angle B is congruent to angle E. And you could say angle C is congruent to angle F. Now, if I said AB, line AB is congruent to its congruent part, what would you say its congruent part for line AB would be? Uh, let's ask Taylor. What would you say? AB is congruent to DE. Does everybody see how those are like in the exact same location? And yes, they are congruent. So we'll label them like that. And Gabriel Ruiz, what if I did BC is congruent to EF? OK, and then I could also do CA, Gabriel de Jesus. CA is reflected to FD. Very good. All right, so when we're talking about congruent parts, all right, we're talking about what parts are in the exact same location of each of their of each triangle. All right, now we already know that they're going to be congruent in size and measure, but they're in the exact same location of each and every triangle. Because sometimes we're not just going to have the triangles look like this. Sometimes they're going to be rotated all all about. Right? I might reverse this. I might have it look like this. Right? And then you guys need to know that C is still goes with that point, B goes over there, and C would relate over there. Okay? So that is a brief, just a little demonstration of your congruent parts.